All right, I have the, uh, the operating system loaded to the SD card on the Raspberry Pi. And now I'm going to turn it on. And we shall see uh, what it will do. Actually, I'll know what it will do. And yes, this is what it does here. It loads up this. Um, you see the black wars on the bottom. You know, I'm just going to say yes this time. Um, wow, network connection. Wi-Fi or wired. Okay, I'm... Uh, I got a wired connection. Okay, I'm going to disable overscan. Yeah. And wired or Wi-Fi. I got wired. I could add a uh, Wi-Fi device, but uh, I'm not going to right now. Okay. So that's good. Select my area. I'm not in Indianapolis. Um, and that's all I had to set right there is just change the area where I'm at. Select that from a menu. It's for my time zone. Uh, storage device here. Uh, and then CBLK0. Um, and for my EXT4, no discard. Excuse me a minute, I thought that I took care of that alarm clock. Formatting the boot partition. It's formatting the partition as ext4. There's three options for file system. Two of them are ext4. One of them is uh, to just not discard anything. Um, and uh, that's what I chose. You know, previously I chose to discard, you know, just ext4. And then, um, and then uh, another choice is btrfs, which I'm thinking I might try sometime. It's supposed to be a good file system. I just don't know if they're done with it yet. So here, the first choice for operating system is uh, uh, Debian Wheezy uh, Raspbian. It's the official Linux operating system distribution for the Raspberry Pi that was put out for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Next choice is Open Elec, which is um, just a very lightweight single purpose Linux operating system distribution um, just for the purpose of only running XBMC to turn your uh, Raspberry Pi into like a media dashboard. Well, uh, you know, a media center, and that's what I'm going to install. Um, if my voice sounds strange, because I just woke up. So we got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven choices for operating system right now. I'm going to install Open Elec. Uh, on this SD card because that's what I wanted to choose. Grabbing it about 6 megabit per second, which that's not my fastest speed. Um, my uh, speed is actually 20 megabit per second on my uh, service provider. Just uh, Raspberry Pi is processing away. There. and the entire operating system is about 72 megabyte then it has to download from the internet that's what this uh, Berry Boot uh, loader does, that's what I'm running right now, that's what this whole video right now has been about it's very very simple and it will grab the operating system from the internet, which means you get the freshest, latest version, I'm presuming, of the software. 
and uh, this version of Berry Boot has released two days ago or not three days ago this one is only uh, three days old which is pretty fresh and it's almost finished uh, downloading it alright now we have our Berry Boot menu editor and nobody has taught me how to use this. I've just played around with it and it's just that simple. We add our operating system. That's what I'm going to do. And this is, uh, yeah, this is to boot from. And this lets you have multiple choices. You can have more than one operating system installed to the SD card on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, I just installed Open Elec. Okay, uh, that's already on there. I want to make it default so that when this thing boots up it will boot up open elec and of course it should do that anyway because open elec is the only uh... the only operating system on here and i've made it default click exit 